Hello, and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about some fundamentals of the Java language, starting with identifiers in Java. What are identifiers in Java? They're uh, anything in Java you write, like um, uh, any you any va uh, a variable is an uh, identifier. And how do you write it? Like the semantics of how do you start it, and what are what's legal, and what's allowed, and what's not allowed. So they should always start with uh, second. Let me get my pen. Okay, so the identifiers should always start with letters. Um, digits the underscores symbol and uh, the dollar sign but uh, it's advisable to not use the dollar sign when you write you know create an identifier in Java uh, <coughs> Because there are times when it can confuse the JVM or the runtime system. So to, just to be safe, um, you know, I would advise you to not try to use dollar sign to say to name a variable or something like that. So I can. Then there's some conventions when you write an identifier besides variable names, method names, class names. This is what all are allowed. But um, the conventions are that they should always start with a letter you know between a to z um, it can be uppercase or lowercase um, variable names and method names uh, should have started with lowercase uh, letters but um, the start beginning of new words should be capitalized so my big java variable will look like this my big java variable notice that the beginning of the new words in between are the ones which have been capitalized everything else is in lowercase so that's the regular convention. You are not required to um, follow that for everything, but when you're writing a program which you want other Java programs to be e easily able to read and understand, this is what I would recommend. Um, and that's all we have for uh, identifiers and the basics of, you know, how to get them going. The next thing we are going to talk about is <coughs> data types. What are the data types in Java, and how do you use that? So there are basically two basic classes of data types called the primitives, which the language supplies. The primitives are basically um, st stuff which is built into the language. These are uh, int and other int types like uh, long we're going to talk in detail about the characteristics of these two double which is for decimal numbers integer int is integers the for integers small integers to up to some extent and longs is for really bigger and inter bigger integers and double is for decimal numbers and then there is boolean So boolean is anything any, anything whose value can be expressed as true or false. <coughs> and the next primitive data type of importance is char. Char um, is just a character, and the way you assign it is uh, char. 
alpha equals to a. So we have a, we have created a variable called alpha of type char. It can contain only one character, and we have assigned it the value a here. And that's how you go about creating uh, chars. So for now, you know, most of the time we're going to use ints for regular numbers. For decimals, we're going to use doubles. And we don't really, we wouldn't necessarily use longs uh, in the short term, but you'll need it as we go along. And the next class of uh, data types or types of data types are classes and objects. They're also sometimes called uh, reference based types. <clears throat> so, why do you think they're uh, reference based? What's what's the difference? I mean, uh, what's the reference here? So, th the key is that uh, the primitive data types. Have a, have a fixed position in, in them in Java's memory. So here's say let's see. Here is Java memory, the heap, Java's heap, and here is alpha So alpha is this our character Data uh, character data types uh, instance, which contains a, and alpha resides directly in the Java heap, while the reference-based da data types, let's say, um, uh, let's let's create a new data type called. Uh, Table. So imagine there is a user-defined class called table. We create table A equal to new table. So over here, table is a class or a, or a programmer-defined data type. We created a variable called A of type table. And we instantiate it by saying new table. New is the keyword which you use to create a new object of that type. So in this case, A is a reference. And that reference is going to point somewhere on Java heap where there is going to be this table object. So A is just going to hold the reference, wh while alpha is actually the address in Java A. It's actually th it's, it's the physical location. Here, it's just, just a reference, and the reference is going to tell where the table object resides. The reason the reference space is that uh, they don't have any fixed sizes. The size is based on the kind of classes they reference. I mean, the reference has a fixed size per JVM. so fixed size per JVM B but and primitive data types have a fixed size across all JVMs so the amount of space physical space in memory every anything of type int requires is the same anywhere you go for similar same for long, same for double, and boolean and character types. But for classes, the the reference is always the same size in that particular JVM. Remember we talked about JVMs, one JVM per platform. So in the Windows JVM, you know, a new table reference will be the same as a new rectangle reference or any other user-defined classes uh, reference will have the same size but they can point to different objects here it's table let's say let's take another one rec 
b equal uh, new rec here i created a, another variable of data type user defined data type called rec it's a rec class and I instantiated it and this points to somewhere here there is in the java memory there is something called rec so rec the size of this rec object and table object need not be the same but the size of this a which is a reference to table and b which is a reference to rec is always going to be the same si same and same in size um, let's talk about the sizes for a bit um, these are the I talked about these basic types that we're going to be always using for uh, <coughs> integers and decimals and boolean and character there's a few other types being one being float which is a floating point number uh, this is the range of the decimal number you can create double is basically a floating point no, is a decimal number which is uh, with a larger range float is with a smaller range depending on what kind of operation you're doing you can choose float or double and shot is a is as an integer with a smaller range and byte is even smaller integer with with a sign and so is shot. So these are the basic data types and we talked about uh, classes and objects and reference based data types in this class and in the next class we will expand on these concepts.